Hi everyone, it's Kevin with Skylab Flight Systems uh, bringing you another Lemon RX tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to bind a Lemon RX DSMX 10 channel receiver with satellite port to a Spectrum radio. Uh, before we get going, you need three things. First, clearly you need a Spectrum radio, uh, six channel or more. Um, make sure that you have set up the new model that you intend to use this receiver with um, in the radio before going any further. Okay, uh, the next thing that you have to have is you have to have the receiver and the satellite that you intend to use with it. And the very last thing that you need is you have to be able to provide power to your receiver. You can do this two ways. One, you can install the receiver in the aircraft that you plan to use with it. Um, if you do that, please remove the propellers or propeller from that aircraft so you don't have an accidental startup that might result in injury. Um, the other option is to use a receiver battery, which is what I'm going to do. Um, you can get a receiver battery from any, any online hobby store or your local hobby shop. Um, make sure that you do not use a 12 volt battery as that will blow up your receiver and it will void your warranty. So let's get going. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to connect the satellite to the receiver. Okay, um, the Lemon receiver has a satellite port on the, on the side there. So we're just going to plug that in. And it's a very positive connection. It won't come out very easily. Uh, the next thing that we are going to do then is we're going to provide, we're going to take the provided bind plug and we're going to plug it into the receiver. Um, now the receiver, the lemon receivers have a bind port on the top of it and it's clearly marked and it says bind. The, re the bind plug can go in either way because it's the same each way. So let's plug that in, make sure it's nice and tight. And then lastly, we're going to provide power to the receiver. Now, you want to provide that power to the throttle channel. And on the Lemon receivers, there's a diagram on the face of it. The signal wire is always up, and your negative wire, which is the black wire, is going to be down. So here is the throttle channel, and we're going to plug in. And what we are getting are flashing LEDs. And that indicates that the satellite and the receiver are both in um, bind mode. So we're going to go to the next step, which is uh, turning on the radio. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to hold the bind button down on the radio. And then you want to turn the power on. Now you want to give yourself a little room between the receiver and, and the radio to make sure that the signal is being received by the radio and, and you don't have a failure. Um, my DX9 is now going to take over for speaking and tell us exactly what's going on. Binding. DSMX 22 milliseconds. Bind complete. So there you go. Now, according to my radio, this, this receiver and satellite are bound. So what we're going to do is we're going to unplug it, unplug the bind plug, and remove the power from the receiver. Then we're going to turn off the radio. Now we want to verify that the receiver and satellite are in fact bound to the, the radio. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to give the, give the receiver power again uh, through the throttle port. I'm just going to plug in and then we're going to turn the radio on. What we should get this time is a solid LED, both the receiver and the satellite. And there we have it. So that's it. Uh, remember to build. Remember to visit scratchbuilds.com uh, for all your Lemon RX receiver needs. And uh, you guys always fly safe and have a happy new year. Thanks for your time. 